I love weed. I hate, though, that they say weed is a gateway drug. People still say that. Um, and I disagree, guys, because, like, in my experience, cocaine has gotten me into so many gated communities. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Weed's more like that I got to the gate and forgot why I came, so I'm eating these Cheetos. Kind of <laughs> um, I think weed is better for society than alcohol is. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, I know it makes you like the, the keep buying alcohol, or whatever, but like, I think, I think weed is better for society than alcohol is, and I only say that because I've never been drunk and done this. Oh, hey, is that a ladybug? Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I wonder why they call them ladybugs. I'm on Wikipedia, that shit. And then like two hours later, I can tell you the difference between aphids and mites. You don't even know what those are, but we gave me that, guys. And we taught me that. And I know if I was drunk, it would have been different. If I was drunk, I would have been like, oh, hey, is that a ladybug? Can I fuck it? No, okay, moving on. Would <laughs> you like to fuck things when you're drunk? Um, <laughs> I have, a lot of, I have a lot of fun conversations uh, when, I'm, uh, when I'm high. Um, I was talking to a friend the other day about uh, facial recognition technology. I don't know if you guys know, but that technology is still pretty racist. Like, it doesn't recognize black people's faces very well, right? I don't know if you also knew this, but like during the Capitol riots, that's how most of those white people got caught. Like, their faces got caught on camera, and they were able to use this facial recognition technology to catch them all. And I was thinking, this is like the only time racism might be good, you know? Like, <laughs> Like, if black people would have stormed the Capitol, we would have all gotten away with it. It would have been dope. Like, a year later, instead of a trial, we would all be at a barbecue. Like, remember that time we stormed the Capitol? That shit was dope, right? Killed hell of white people. It was, it was fun. Um, I, uh, I lived in Oakland for a little bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that place you guys pass by sometimes when you go to San Francisco, you know? Um, I used to live there uh, for a little bit. I lived there for like a week, and then I moved out of Oakland. Because it was just too crazy. Like the first week I was there, this, uh, this crazy black guy wearing this like long overcoat, and he had a stick. And he was in the middle of the street, and he slammed the stick down. He's like, this is my street, I'll open this street. And he's obviously like mentally unstable, right? But like, I can't call the cops on this guy, because they're just going to come and shoot this poor black guy, right? And this is like the first time that I had ever understood the whole defund the police thing, right? Like, because like, why should money go to police departments when they're not trained to handle these people? It should be going to like people who are trained to deal with mentally unstable people so that they can go and shoot the black people, you know? Like, <laughs> it's too much for Campbell, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Campbell. Um, uh, I'm a black person. I should have started with that. Uh, you guys cool with black people? I'm talking mostly to the guy that looks like he might be in a biker club. Uh, you're like the one guy I want to be cool with by the end of my set. Like, I don't want any trouble, dude. <laughs> I get into a lot of issues though, like being black. You know, like the other day I was at work, right? I was in the break room and this white girl had some chicken and she couldn't finish it. And she looked across the table, and there's me and this Asian girl, and she looks at me, and she looks at the Asian girl, and she offered the Asian girl the chicken, right? And I was like, what the fuck? Why didn't you offer me the chicken? And she said, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to seem racist. You knew. Have you done that before? No, you know better. Yeah. He, right? And I was like, holy shit. Like, wait a minute. How much free chicken have I been missing out on? <laughs> you can ask, it's cool. Um, I've been doing that joke for years, and sometimes white people actually offer me chicken after the show. I could actually do that. I think that it's super racist. It's, like, it's, just, it's just how it is, you know? Like, I think everybody is a little bit racist, right? Like, a little bit. You answered really quick, man. <laughs> It is the truth. It is. And you know, I, I applaud you. Honestly, this guy is the only guy in here who can admit that he's a little bit racist. Like, wh which who do you hate most? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yourself. That's a great answer. <laughs> we should all be saying that. No, it's, it's true. Like, it's, I, I think, though, you can tell how racist you are uh, by the way that you notice a minority when you walk into a room. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like if you walk in a room and you're like, there's black people in this room, 
That's not that. That's not that racist. That's just an observation, all right? But if you walk in that room and you're like, there's like three black people and five Mexicans, then it's like, why are you counting, bro? Like, what are you comparing for? You know what I mean? It's, 